Hi hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching this uh, dispersion technique. Now a YouTuber contacted me to create this effect for them because they couldn't understand the actual process in making them because they're brand new to Photoshop. Now once you look into the all aspects of this process and this technique, it's actually fairly simple and easy to create with a few uh, bits of knowledge of Photoshop. Now first things first is you're going to need to open your image into Photoshop itself. Now I'm going to jump over to the image that we're going to be working on. Now this image right here. Now if you are subscribed to me and you know this image, I use this image in the um, vampire tutorial. Now, if you want to go and check that out, you can go check that out right now. Um, now this image right here, if you want to uh, play around with this image, um, it's all going to be in the source files on my website and the link is going to be in the description bar for you to play around with and all the brushes and bits and bobs that I'm going to be playing around with. And I'll also show you some different brushes. Now, what we're going to be doing is once you've loaded into Photoshop the image that you're going to be working on, and if you're brand new to Photoshop and you don't know what you're doing, then we're going to go to File and Open and then select your image wherever you've loaded it or saved it. Now, once you've done that, we're going to need to actually cut the character, the person or the object out of the image that you want to put the um, defragmentation technique or whatever you want to call it the effect onto that object. Now there's a number of ways of doing this. I have done a video on the selection processes, all different ways of selecting objects and people out of images and stuff like that. But I'm going to just go ahead and select the quick selection tool because this is going to be a quick tutorial and I know this works with this image fairly well. Now Obviously, you need to play around with your selection processes and techniques as you might not have a high resolution image, you might have a low resolution and you have to do it different ways. Now, once we have done that and we have selected the object or the person, we're going to go to the Refine Edge tool, hit the Smart Radius ticked on and put the radius all the way up. We're going to put go over to the image and we're just going to go and paint the bits that we don't want in. So just these bits coming through the hair. I'm going to go to the decontaminate colors, bring that all the way up. And then we're going to put the output to new layer and then click OK. Now give it some time to load. Then we've got a blank layer, but we already have the original um, unchecked. So we can't see it in the background. So if we make any mistakes and which we'll use later for some lighting techniques uh, later on in the tutorial. So the next thing is we're going to need to duplicate this image twice so we can hit Ctrl and J and Ctrl and J again to duplicate. We're going to turn off the top layer which is this eye here, the top layer. We're going to go from the second from the bottom, make sure you've got that selected on. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to hit the free transform so Ctrl and T and we're just going to move this just outside like that. And we're just going to make this bigger, so somewhere around there would do. And then click the tick icon in the top right hand side. Then we're going to go and make that visible, the top layer again. Make sure you got that clicked on. And we're going to hit Ctrl and T again. And then we're just going to bring this just outside, just so it's overlapping. And we're just going to make it bigger don't want it too far overlapping just around there would do now once you have done that we're going to hit the tick icon on the top right hand side again and what this process is doing is basically we're going to be working on layer masks now to put a layer mask on the actual layer we're going to hit the camera shape in the bottom right hand side corner so right here this looks right here and we're just going to hit that and it's going to put a white layer mask over it but we actually want a black layer mask so it hides it the so what we're going to do is going to hit the paint bucket tool make sure that we've got the default colors selected so black and white or white and black we're going to make sure that we've got the uh, prime color as black because we need to turn the layer mask to black and we'll make sure the layer mask is selected in the layer and then we're just going to press the image and basically it turns the layer mask black and hides the image and we're just going to do exactly the same thing to the 
second from bottom layer mask and then make sure you've got the layer mask selected and hide that one as well now once you've done that it's fairly easy and simple for the rest of the process all you have to do is load some brushes so some splatter brushes would be useful and you can get them at the brusheasy.com website there's loads and loads and loads of brushes on this website splatter brushes is what you want to be working with but you can also use other brushes if you want to create a different technique now these are free brushes um, so use them at your discretion or whatever you want to do with them now I've already got some but I haven't got um, like them because I'm just using a quick tutorial so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our paintbrush tool we're going to go and select the splatter brush whatever one that you want so I just got to find mine I've got so many paint brushes loaded at the moment there I do now make sure that you have the layer mask selected the one that you want to work on so we're going to work on the top one we're going to change our color to white and if you have the default color selected you can hit the X key to change the color between foreground and background colors and then we're just going to paint onto it so we're going to put the opacity up sorry because I changed the opacity so we can just paint in fragments and all you have to do from this process here is keep changing your brush so change different types of brushes uh, whatever you want to work on so let's go to another one uh, where else I've got to find another one that I'm going to be working on this one should be okay and I'm just going to and we're going to hit the other uh, layer mask which is the second from bottom and we're just going to keep swapping between the brushes like that and then uh, what we're going to be working on is the prime uh, image right here so second from top we're going to drag that image to the top to hide that bit there and what we're going to do is going to put another layer mask on this one so we're going to hit the layer mask button now we don't want to change the layer mask to black we're just going to keep it white change our color to black make sure that you're going to be working on the layer mask and then all you got to do is paint onto that and it'll create these shards coming away and just keep swapping between the brushes and the different layer masks and that's all you have to do really on this to create this sort of effect now there is loads more techniques that you can incorporate I even put in a um, fog um, brushes which you can get from brusheasy.com by typing in fog and you can get fog brushes or mist or whatever and you can even incorporate them brushes as I said you can use any brushes that you want to make so we're just gonna go quickly just to use any brushes at all and even if you do make a mistake control alt and Z to take that mistake away and so make sure that you don't use the brush too many times in uh, around the spaces because it will look like you've obviously gone crazy with that particular brush and you don't want that sort of effect um, we're just going to keep changing the brushes you see you can even incorporate the mist effect like I said now once you have done all that and obviously this is not looking exactly like this one I spent more time on this one than the one I'm doing right now but you're going to have a lot more time than me so we're going to put a blank white layer on the back so select the background which is the last bottom one and we're going to make a new blank layer which you can do at the bottom right hand side clicking that icon 
we're going to hit the paint bucket tool and make sure you've got color white selected and then click on the image now we've got a blank white background now we need to put some light into it like I said we're going to use the original um, image that we first used but that we didn't even uh, touch first of all so we want to bring that into play so put the eye checked on in the layers which is the bottom one the one that's got the padlock on make sure that you've got the blank layer selected again and we're just going to go to the eraser tool I'm going to go to the top and we're going to change the eraser tool uh, to a soft brush I'm going to close that and then we're going to bring that brush up then we're going to bring the opacity down 21% should do it and then we're just going to bring some lighting in like there and then just click around now that's actually pretty good now what we can do is we can even put curve um, layer in so if we go down to this black and white circle right here click that and we're going to hit curves and then we can play around with this level we're going to bring that uh, curves layer to the middle so the top two uh, you're going to have and we're going to have three underneath which is the main original image the white blank layer and the back of her the one that we made dark so just above this is the curves layer and then we can really just play around with this creating the light as we see fit or whatever suits your image at the time so that should be okay for me and then even if uh, you want to create even more light you can make a new blank layer go and select the paintbrush tool I'm going to go all the way up to the top I'm going to put this brush to a soft brush hit make sure that you've got the white select on we're going to go bring the opacity down to around 50 somewhere right there bring the brush up and then we're just going to go and create a bit of light just to the side of her face so that looks pretty good and if you want to create even something else we can go to the black and white circle and then we're going to go to uh, photo filter now you can change around with the density depending on what you want to do I'm going to go and bring it down to let's find a color that suits it depending on your image at the time you need to find a color that really suits your image that suits it and we can bring the density up not too far so around there now that's actually pretty good and that's the actual main tutorial done now don't forget you can put loads more stuff into this play around with different brushes play around with different techniques uh, make sure that you've got the selection process in order and everything is uh, pristine now I hope this helps you and I uh, hope you create a great piece of work for your project and stuff like that so please comment rate and subscribe and please check out my website and my shop because I am creating new t-shirts um, to sell and if you want to support me that's a great way of supporting me um, for now so I'll see you next time bye for now guys